a strong 5.7 magnitude earthquake strikes off Oregon in the Cascadia subduction zone, followed by a 3.3 magnitude quake aftershock. According to the USGS, the epicenter located at a depth of about 10 miles deep at 43 degrees north latitude, off uh, just west, about 130 miles from Eugene, Oregon. This is the area of the Cascadia subduction zone that we have underwater uh, methane volcanoes as well. And the area was the uh, Blanco fracture zone above the Mendocino fracture zone. We had a 3.6 earthquake there last year. Kindly support my Patreon channel because YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. You'll find at least five videos daily, even though there's a lot more because of YouTube restrictions on sensitive election material. I'm sure you'll find them interesting. They're totally different from what I have on YouTube. You'll find the link in the description box below each video. Thank you so much for your support. There were no initial reports of damage resulting from the quake. No tsunami warning issued. The recent major uh, tremors in the area were registered last year when a 6.3 magnitude struck 284 kilometers north northwest of Brandon, Oregon, depth of uh, shallow five, about three kilometers down, three miles down, sorry. And according to Volcano Discovery, during the past 30 days, Oregon was shaken by one quake of magnitude 5.7, four quakes between three and four magnitude, four quakes between two and three magnitude. There were also 30 quakes below two, mag two magnitude, which people did not normally feel. And the biggest was a 5.7 that we had today, about 130 miles west of Coos Bay from uh, Eugene, Oregon. Now, this area, the Cascadia subduction zone is a 600-mile fault running from Northern California up to British Columbia. It's about 70 to 100 miles of the Pacific coastline shore. There have been 41 earthquakes in the last 10,000 years within this fault that have occurred as few as 190 years or such uh, as uh, 1,200 years apart. The last earthquake that occurred in this fault was about January 26, 1700 with an estimated nine magnitude. This earthquake caused the coastline to drop several feet and a tsunami to form and crash into the land. What is most surprising is that evidence of this great earthquake also came from Japan because of the tsunami hitting Japan, all the way on the other side of the Pacific. Japan's historic records indicate that a destructive, distantly produced tsunami struck their coast January 26, the year 1700, and by studying the geological records of the flow of the Pacific Ocean, scientists have been able to link the tsunami in Japan with the great earthquake from the Pacific Northwest, Native American legends also support, to the timing of this last event. Now, Oregon, we have been warned that they are uh, waiting for another uh, super, uh, well, big earthquake. A it has a potential for giving another nine magnitude earthquake caused by the Cascadia subduction zone and the resulting tsunami of up to 100 feet in height that will impact the coastal area. There's an estimated two to four minutes of shaking or rolling that will be felt along the coastline with the strength and intensely decreasing the further inland you are, of course. Cascadia subduction zone has not produced an earthquake for the past 300 years and is building up pressure and stress where the Juan de Fuca plate is subducting, subsiding under the North American plate. Right now, scientists are predicting that there's about a 37% chance that a mega thrust of 7.1 magnitude and higher in this fault zone will occur in the next 50 years. The event will be felt throughout the Pacific Northwest. And with the current preparedness levels of Oregon, we can anticipate being without service and assistance for at least two weeks, if not longer, when the Cascadia subduction zone earthquake occurs, while this will be difficult to overcome, citizens and businesses, schools, government, and communities as a whole can take steps to get prepared, taking action by now by actively planning and preparing 
yourself and your community to, to be ready for two weeks of this type of a disaster. This is from Oregon.gov, and I'll leave a link below for you for this. So all of you there, please be very careful.